All right, guys, we're on a 2024 Jeep Wrangler, and um, I just want to show the Moo Car 892BT uh, unlocking the secure gateway module so you'll have full bi directional control on the vehicle. Um, check diagnose, and we're going to hit enter. Let it auto ID the vehicle. Hopefully, this is a 2024, so it's pretty new. Uh, we'll see if it's able to pick up the VIN okay. If you don't know about the secure gateway module on 2018 and newer uh, Dodge, Fiat, Chrysler, and Jeep vehicles, you have to have a scan tool that is AutoAuth compatible, and it has to be registered on the web on the AutoAuth website, and you have to be connected to the Internet so that you can uh, – so that the scan tool can communicate with the – website and the website will give authentication to the scanner and allow it to unlock the secure gateway module so that you can have full bi-directional control i'm going to hit automatic search and i do have this scan tool registered on the auto auth website so let's see how it goes uh, if we're successful we should get a little pop-up saying that the secure gateway module has been unlocked and we should have full bi-directional control Looks like it did ID the VIN. Here's the secure gateway disclaimer telling you that you have a secure gateway module on this vehicle. Uh, if you have a account, you hit yes. I've already got my information entered in there, so I'm going to hit OK. And there's our little pop-up that's telling us that we uh, that the secure gateway module has been unlocked. So we'll hit OK to that. Now, at this point, uh, let's just do a health report. Key is turned on. And we're just going to let it scan down through all the modules. And uh, if you don't have a secure, if, if you don't have a scan tool that's registered on the AutoAuth website, you'll be able to scan the modules and you'll be able to read the codes. But you can't clear the codes and you can't. You won't have any bi-directional control, and I don't think you'll have live data. I may be wrong about that, but I don't think you've got live data either. But I know for a fact you don't have any bi-directional capability. So if you have a scan tool that has bi-directional capability, you typically want uh, that function to work. So to, I'm going to roll the window down because we're going to probably have to listen. I'm going to go into the powertrain control module first. And remember, you do have to be connected to the Internet for this to work. The scan tool has to be connected. And I'm going to go to actuation test. And let's see if we have the uh, cooling fan. Okay, radiator cooling fan. Okay, we got a duty cycle version and a control state. I don't know the difference. We'll just go duty cycle. Okay, and it's giving us uh, various duty cycles for the fan i'm going to go to 80 percent or 80 yeah 80 percent duty cycle and we should hear it kick on i hope you're picking that up and it's on i'm going to go ahead and back out of it let's see is there anything look, look, what's the control state Okay, so you just got on and off for the control state. And I think the auxiliary coolant pump and vacuum pump reel, I think that's probably if this was the diesel. I'm not sure. Let's go into the, well, let's go, let's take a look at the special functions real quick so that if you have one of these vehicles, you can see what this scan tool has as far as special functions. And I'll just scroll through. That's the special functions on this vehicle. Uh, system test. That's what you've got under system test. Remember, this scan tool has free lifetime updates, too. Okay, let's go into the body control module, and we'll see if it's got door locks or wipers, uh, maybe horn. We'll go into the actuation test. Okay, door locks are right up here at the top. Okay, we'll do all doors, central locks. And we should hear those. I'm just going to hit on. Should have heard that. I'm going to hit off. 
you would think that'd say lock and unlock, but sometimes the verbiage on some of these scan tools uh, might not be exactly what you would think it would be. What else we got? Got a bunch of lights. There's a front wiper. Let's do the wiper real quick. I'm going to go on. And there's the wiper. Hit off. So as you can see, you've got full bi-directional capability when you have the scan tool registered on the AutoAuth website and you're hooked up to the internet. Let's go ahead and back out of that. Let's go to system test, see what it's got under that. Uh, we did, did we do special functions? No, I don't think we did, did we? I'll scroll through. I'll let you see what special functions it's got. That looks like it's about it right there. And let's see, we'll do the HVAC because the HVAC is uh, pretty important, at least where I'm at here in Texas. It gets pretty hot. So there's the, that might not be the module. That's got actuation test. We'll go ahead and click that. So that's the actuation test under the HVAC module. Of course, you're going to have live data on all of them. Let's see what else we might have that might be interesting to get into. Uh, I don't know. How about the brakes? There's ABS. Let's, we'll do the brakes, then we're going to call this video done. Okay, let's go into the actuation test. That's everything as far as actuation test under the ABS module. Uh, and we'll do special functions. So anyway, this main the, the main purpose, purpose of this video is to show that this scan tool will unlock the secure gateway module. This is a 2024 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, but you do have to have it registered on the AutoAuth website, and you have to be connected to the internet. Anyway, this was the Moo Car 892BT on a 2024 20, Jeep Wrangler. You guys take care. We'll see you.